For decades, Sungai Tahan, located within the National Park, has been under the strict supervision of the authorities to preserve her untouched beauty. With the advent of ecotourism, Sungai Tahan has, since the year 2002, undergone a series of experimentations to transform it into a community-based tropical rainforest tourism haven with the special mission to establish the first exclusive club fishing paradise come research center in this part of the world. The Malaysian Marsia, better known as Kala, or more affectionately, the king of the jungle rivers by Malayan anglers, is relatively rare species well known for its unparalleled beauty and intelligence, as well as its incredible power and stamina when hooked. It has every potential to be developed as a world-class sport fish. For some reason, Sungai Tahan is blessed with plenty of this fantastic species and years of closure have given them the opportunity to grow to enviable sizes. To minimize disturbance to the habitat and fisheries as well as to ensure that the local community benefits from the ecotourism project, the authorities have been careful and systematic in carrying out this project, which is the first of its kind in the country. After several years of preparation, the Sungai Tahan Kla Fishing Paradise is now finally ready to offer its unique service to the world. Today, Sungai Tahan is easily accessible by car. From Kuala Lumpur, it takes only about 4 hours to reach Kuala Tahan, the entry point to Sungai Tahan. Since the completion of the Tar Road several years ago, Kuala Tahan has seen much development along Sungai Tembeling to cater for the needs of the increasing number of tourists. On the side of the National Park, however, development has been well controlled to retain the natural beauty of the pristine rainforest. Endorsed by Perhilitan, the community-based company Golden Marcia Sendirian Berhad has been given the responsibility to develop the ecotourism potential of Sungai Tahan. Organized activities include river exploration, fish feeding, sport fishing, bird watching and other outdoor activities. Rakit Kla is the floating office of Golden Marcia. All Sungai Tahan visitors will have to register themselves here before their adventure. is Lubuk Tenor, a new and popular site for camping and fish feeding. Basic amenities available include a restaurant, campsite, toilets and bathrooms. All constructions are uniquely designed to blend with the environment. popular among the tourists. Fully protected, the fishes are plenty and friendly indeed. The common species include Krai Jelawat, Nyanyua, Lampam, Sebarau and Kla. Huh? Oh, 
From Lubuk Tano to Malantai 2, which is the base camp for kala fishing, all passengers and goods will have to be transported by canoes. The extremely strenuous 9 km upstream come trekking journey will take about 4 to 6 hours depending on the water conditions. This is Lata Berku, another popular picnic destination. The roaring and splashing of the turbulent flow amid the rocky formations is a sight to behold. For the boatmen, however, it means an hour of hard work to get past this natural obstacle. Our arrival is greeted by days of downpour. Such wet conditions also mean plenty of blood-sucking leeches. The rain has significantly increased the volume and speed of flow, making it a lot tougher for the boatmen to maneuver upstream. We have finally arrived at Malantai 2, the base camp. It takes a lot of effort and thought to build such a facility in the heart of the million-year-old virgin jungle. For the purpose of easy maintenance and minimized destruction to the jungle, the huts are tastefully constructed with woody fiberglass frames and metallic roofs. Of course, it would be far from complete without this vital facility. Since the opening of Sungai Tahan several years ago for experimentation, numerous kla of respectable sizes have been landed by anglers. Everyone is excited and hopeful that the fishers will still be equally obliging. The workers had placed a bag of oil palm fruit here yesterday for chumming. The torn plastic bag is certainly the work of hungry fishes and augurs well for the fishing in the next few days. Malantai 2 is also accessible by helicopter. It takes slightly more than an hour 